Alright guys, it's been a while. Welcome back to another video. And yes, this is the official, as you can see in the title. Uh, uh, how many months has it been? July? Well, in July, so August. Uh, can't do math, August. About five, I'll say five month owner's review, I'll say that. This is the official five month owner review. Very small little pull for you guys. Yes, I have been going for a while because um, if you haven't been caught up on my social media or my YouTube or anything like that, I am a father for four months now. I've had the car for five months and um, I was a father very soon after that. Um, well, actually, yeah, very soon after that. So I bought this car July 24th, I think I'm gonna say, 25th. Um, baby was born August 11th. I bought the car specifically for that reason because I was having a baby and it was either um, keep the Challenger, get like a little Accord or something like that, or or just buy a new car. I was looking at Scat Packs and I was looking at um, Daytona, 5.7 Daytonas. I didn't know if I wanted to go back to 5.7, but I was just like, I don't know what to do. Um, so I saw this one online. It was in North Carolina at uh, Hickory Used Car Superstore or whatever it's called. And they, um, it's like 31.7. And I was like, this is the cheapest one without any accidents, no damage, two owners nice blue the cheapest one is a cop in front of me i'm not going to do anything crazy right now so i was like this is the cheap, cheapest one and within 500 miles i would say that because i didn't want to drive too far obviously because my girlfriend was pregnant i can't i can't drive too far from her so and we were expecting her any at any second to pop so i was like i just gotta get there and come back so went up there i actually in my video I actually uh went there i was going there and her parents are coming down because I forget why they were coming down, but I met them halfway, took her dad with me, had came in the car, we went and got the car. Real quick, signed paperwork, did everything I got to do, had to do, got back. Um, wow, that parking lot is, that's not even a parking lot, I don't know why there's parking things in front of it. It just rained here and it was like, there's like water everywhere, it flooded downtown, it's all kinds of stuff. Um, so, ooh. Yeah, it's, wow, it's really flooded over there. Goodness. Um, so, where was I at? Where was I at? Yeah, I got the car, picked it up. Um, I got there. Immediately, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't where I thought it was going to be, but it was the cheapest one within 500 miles of me. There was a few things wrong with it, which I'm glad it wasn't perfect, because if it was perfect, I want to keep it perfect, and I'd be really anal about it. And there was nothing to do for me to do videos on you know, if I wanted to fix something up. So when I got it, um, it smelled like smoke. It's kind of going now a little bit, cause I like, you know, spray stuff, clean it again, clean the windshield again, you know, just do all kinds of stuff. I still need to get a shampoo and all that. Um, the door thing was coming up like Dodges do, like uh, I guess FCA products do a lot, except for Ferrari, apparently. The door, this thing comes up and peels, this one's starting to do it now. Started to do it when I got it. Um, they 10 wheel clamp that down. What else? Um, speaker down here doesn't work. I'm probably gonna get two new speakers up front. I, I want to do that eventually. Um, what else? What else? What else? There's a few other things with scratches and stuff, you know, some damage it has to owners. And uh, that was, if I can, if I remember right, that was pretty much it. Um, yeah, I want to say that was it. So. 
car, I was like, I'm like, I was stacked. I couldn't even believe I got the car. I never, I didn't think I'd get a scat pack that soon or whatever. I was just like a blessing, obviously. Uh, Cam, Cam, Cameron, not Cam, like Cam kept saying, is that's crazy, bro. You got a scat pack, all it crackles, it fucking, it makes all the noise. It's crazy, and it's like plenty fast. I think it's, oh, I thought it was a cop behind me, it's a, a cord. I was, I can only see the bottom of it. It's plenty fast. And it's so much fun, and it looks amazing. It's blue. I don't see a lot of. Uh, there might be a lot of blue somewhere else in other cities and stuff, but around me, I don't. I think I've only seen one, one blue scat back, you know, jazz blue, or um, the other. What's the other blue color? Jazz blue and contusion blue. It's weird because the uh, the owner's manual, or not the owner's manual, the the window sticker says jazz blue, and then something else. When I think of when I pull it up on the website, it says Contusion Blue. So I think they're, I guess they're the same colors. I think Contusion Blue is a little bit better, though, because it's newer. Um, so I was driving it, you know, having a lot of fun. Uh, was going. This is when the problem comes in, which a lot of you already know about. I did a few videos on it. I was going to... I picked up Gunner at my old apartment complex and we were going to a car show and I heard and I was pulling to the car show and I heard our car meet I was I heard a little bit of a a little weird noise I was like oh okay whatever um hit the gas well I, we like left the show had to turn back around hit the gas and it wasn't as fast as it was like I could notice I can really notice a difference I didn't have that same umph to it um Ended up being my drive uh, drive shaft was messed up. It, it was making a really loud, really loud noise because we drove down here, and I was like, "Man, this is really making a really bad noise." I feel like someone's about to break. So I ended up taking him home, made it back home. Um, it only did the noise when the car warmed up, and it wasn't an engine thing. It wasn't like to the engine, the speed of the engine or nothing. Like, so I was good. Uh, I ruled out transmission because it wasn't driving any differently, except the. I mean, it wasn't a very noticeable power loss at the time. I can, I, in hind, like in hindsight, I can tell now because I got the new department place. And car shield, car shield was good. Car shield, uh, again, I don't know how to say. They have two companies they distribute out to, whatever. So you call car shield, say I need the coverage. They go to American Auto Shield, some other company. American Auto Shield sucks. So my car sat at Platinum for a month, not, it's not Platinum's fault, Platinum was great, sat at Platinum for a month waiting for parts, so it took them a week or some change, a week and some change to get out there and look at the car, then he said, yeah, yeah, whatever, I'll order parts, something like that to uh, Adam, and just, they, we just never, we didn't hear from him for, like I said, like a month, and so I was like, okay, cool, let me call Mopar, looked at the coverage, and it said, uh, like, if I had any warranty under it, on it, it said, I had, and this view is beautiful, I'll have to show when you come back this way. Uh, I said I had a powertrain warranty. I was like, let me see what that includes. It said engine transmission and drive system. So I was like, drive systems? That should mean drive shaft and, you know, axles, all that stuff. So I was like, I don't let me make sure. Let me see before I take it out, take it away from Platinum and put it at the dealership. So I called the lady up on the phone, and she didn't know what the heck she was talking about. She just kept, like, she was reading off the script, and she didn't know how, she didn't even know that I said I drive a scat pack. She said a scat pack. I was like, yeah, whatever. This, and she's like, okay, it seems like you have this. You lost this. You don't have this. You have this. You have this. This is an active. This is an active. I said, I don't care what I don't know what I do have. I just need to know if the drive shaft is covered under this warranty. And she said, uh, let me read some more. I was like, okay. And so she read, she said, yes, the drive shaft and this is covered. And I was like, okay, cool. Let me um, take it back to Dodge and bada bing bada boom they got it up the same night told me hey, it was this part is ordered it'll be here soon part came in that was was that friday i don't remember when the, when that was um i think that might have been a friday i was off so it was like a, there was a thursday and part came in uh actually relatively quick uh that same when the day after the part came in, he put it in and it 
ran great. I picked it up the next day, and I could tell then at that time I could tell the power delivery was different because the because so if you didn't know the center the support the center support bearing was bad. By the way, I don't know if I said that. So where the where the uh, drive shaft is not one piece, it's two pieces, and where the where the joint is in the middle is there's a there's a bearing right there where my fingers are touching. And so the bearing was going bad, and the drive shaft was just moving around. And that's what I was hearing, like like a really loud jittering noise or whatever. So that's what you can't, and you couldn't just get the bearing because the bearing was attached to the drive shaft. Kind of dude, I can't really explain it. I got pictures of it. I put it right here. Anyways, that was broken, and they uh they replaced it, and the delivery, the power delivery was just it was a lot better, and didn't hear the noise obviously. It just like the the power delivery was really smooth i like hit the gas coming out of work for the first i was giving somebody a ride actually for the first time i had like smashed on it and it shifted and it just kept the wheels kept spinning it just felt like it was just it felt really smooth i was really happy but that happened unfortunately it's not, it's not i don't think it's a dodge problem or a uh sky pack charger challenger problem whatever i know it has a but it's not like something that does happen all the time i think it's because the previous owner launched it did all this crap with it because he i could tell he had bigger tires on it he did erase it a lot because he has like all kinds of times in here his top speed is 160 which is the almost the whole dash the top speed on here is 180 and that's what he did he did 160 and i was like this dude's really been romping on his car because you can kind of feel it in the transmission too and i was like okay cool whatever so yeah that that happened one thing that kind of pissed me off after i bought it was not, I mean, not that I could be pissed off at Dodge with, but they did this freaking, they did this uh, uh, power for dollars, or dollars for power thing, whatever, I forget what it's called, where you just got like crazy discounts on cars, and there was new, new freaking scat packs, Charger scat packs, brand freaking new, like 16 miles on them, going for $32,000, and I was just like, I was so freaking pissed off. <laughs> I was like, what? I could have waited two weeks. Just, like, oh my freaking God. I was like, oh my God. I, just, I saw a black, a red one with black stripes and it was black wheels and the interior was nice. And I think the interior was actually kind of the same. I don't, I don't remember, but it was $32,000. I was like, what the freaking crap, man? What the hell? And I mean, I obviously not doing that anymore, so you can't really find them like that. Uh, that's what I got mine for was 32 and I have, Right now, I have 56,765 miles at this very second, um, which I don't think is a bad thing, but I was, I mean, where the heck am I going to go? I'm trying to find that one spot. I mean, other than that, those two things, I haven't had any problems at all. Like, there, I mean, the backup camera stopped working, but that happened in my Dart and in my Challenger. I was kind of used to that. The screen would go black and then it would go green. So I was like, okay, I know, I already, I'm very familiar with that. It's not going to do that for long. It'll do that for, I'll turn the car off and come back tomorrow morning and it'll be fine. And it was fine and it's been fine for uh, ever since. So that happened. Um, what else? Nothing else happened except for I'm a little suspicious of the transmission or whatever is going on because it kind of catches hard. You kind of like, I let off the gas now and I get in it. You can't hear it or feel it, but it's like, it catches like really hard. Um, I drove down to the beach. 
this might have been a not a bad idea, but this is just a lot more crowded than I was planning. My plan, the, the, the plan originally was to get rid of the car when we go to get a house, when we go to start looking for a house, when we want to move or whatever. So that is still, that's probably the best idea so I can free up a lot of um, in or debt on my little debt to income ratio and all that stuff. So that'll be, that's the plan for now unless I can make a lot of money doing something and I can keep the car because my debt to income will obviously grow a lot. But I haven't been making videos because, um, obviously I, just, I think I said that earlier, I had to have a baby and literally all my free time is with her or I'm at home like resting, sleeping because I'm always up with her. I'm really tired right now, my eyes burn. Um, I need to stop and get some shots because you guys already saw shots. I almost hit a bird. It is Christmas Eve and I finally got out to do a video and I need to turn around. All right. A lot of good things going on at work. I don't know if I can speak on what's happening right now. Not that it's, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know if it's like a secret at the moment or what. Um, it's just kind of... It's, it's really new, I should say, and it's really exciting, actually. Oh, that's a crazy house. Um, it's new, and I'm excited because I am going to L.A. next year. That's something crazy happening. I'm going to L.A. I'm going to Atlanta twice. Should be. That's really flooded. Wow. Should be going to Atlanta twice. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun, guys. You guys just stay tuned. I'll be doing it. And I got a co-worker. This guy is doing circles in the in the road for some reason. I don't know what the hell he's doing. But, um... Okay. I thought he was going to be a kid. That dude was, like, grown. Actually, I wish I had a cop car right now. I'd turn around and, like, flip my lights on. But, ooh. Oh, man. I'm just blabbing right now. I'm just, like... Because I haven't done a video in a long time. I feel like you guys need a lot of content because I haven't... Oh, done anything in a while. Um, what was I talking about? I don't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, I'm just busy. I'm trying to do videos and stuff. And uh, I'm trying to do gaming videos too, a lot more. That's hard because obviously that's at home and the baby. And when I do have game time to play games, I'm usually, she's usually sleeping. And it's usually like nighttime or she's in my arms sleeping, so. That's really hard. I do some vlogs because it's easy to do vlogs on my vlog channel because it's with her. And so videos with her are pretty easy. So I, um, I'm going to start pumping some vlogs out more, hopefully. And um, maybe start vlogging at work a little bit more, too. Because I know some people want to, a lot of people have questions about my job and all that stuff. So yeah, let me start talking so much. Um, just a little update on life and update on the car. The car is perfect everything is great um baby just woke up as soon as i left the house that's unfortunate for my girlfriend i guess because she's trying to take a nap but um i'm gonna go get some shots and i will see you guys when i see you